We're here at Washington University in St. Louis's Clean Coal Facility, and our project discusses flue gas control for an algae bioreactor. Biological methods of sequestering CO2 from flue gas are receiving a lot of attention due to global warming concerns. In the United States, 45% of electricity is generated from the combustion of coal, a process which increases the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Behind me is a facility which burns a small amount of coal. The flue gas from this process is used as an inlet feed to a bioreactor which promotes algae growth. For this project, microalgae are used because of their high growth rates. Under proper control and regulation, we can harvest biomass and biofuels from this system. Algal cultures can be used to fix carbon dioxide from the environment. However, high carbon dioxide concentration, like in flue gas, will inhibit the algal growth. As we can see from the picture, the soil density is very low when the algae are exposed to high carbon dioxide levels. Our project aim is to use pulse flue gas to improve the algal growth. Instead of feeding the algae with flue gas continuously, we use the continuous pulse flue gas to avoid the growth inhibition. In this way, the flue gas and the air are pumped into the reactors alternately. However, we don't know the proper frequency of the on-off time. So we will use Simulink to predict the optimal frequency which will theoretically promote optimal algal growth. So we developed a model which describes biomass production, light intensity, and CO2 concentration in the gas and liquid phases. The first equation is the change rate of biomass production modified from the Monad equation. In this equation, we assume that the biomass production rate is related to the dissolved CO2 and light intensity. We also included the substrate inhibition term since high levels of CO2 will cause growth, growth inhibition. In the second equation, we assume that the change rate of dissolved CO2 depends on two factors, namely CO2 input from the gas phase and CO2 output from algae consumption. Besides, the average light intensity in the culture decays as biomass concentration increases because the light penetration gets more difficult when the culture density is higher. All the parameter values are reported from literatures. Now I'm showing you the model we built in Simulink. In this model, we have two inputs, the surface light intensity and inflow CO2 concentration. The inflow CO2 change is simulated with pulse generators. We change the on-off frequency by setting different values for period and pulse width. The ODE equations are hidden in these two subsystems. And these two subsystems are connected with dissolved CO2 and biomass change rate. Our target is to simulate the bioprocess over seven days. So we set the corresponding time span. And we use the solver ODE23S to get the numerical solutions. After running the Simulink, the data will be exported to MATLAB for plotting. Here is the simulation result of the bioprocess. The results show the period and width of the on-off CO2 pulses strongly affects the algal growth. In general, the optimal biomass production using full gases requires very short pulse width and a relatively longer recovery period. If the algal species is sensitive to high CO2 concentration, then the inhibition coefficient Ki is small. The on-off CO2 pulses are very effective to improve algal growth. In the figure, we can see up to five-fold improvement of biomass production under optimal CO2 pulses compared to the conditions with continuous CO2 treatment. The last figure shows the experimental data for the algal species chlorella. The first growth is under continuous flue gas treatment, the second growth is under ambient CO2, and the third growth is under CO2 pulses. We can see the experimental data verifies the effectiveness for flue gas pulses to promote biomass growth. Here are the conclusions. 
We developed the model using Simulink to optimize the algal growth using flue gas. The model simulation indicated that the optimal path for flue gas inflow should be 5 seconds on and 7 minutes off. We experimentally validated the effectiveness of continuous CO2 pulses to improve algal growth.